same time the Berlin Wall fell, like the fall of the USSR, the same period basically Yugoslavia fell apart as well. The way communism worked here was way better than the way it worked in, let's say, Soviet countries or China. Like, you know, and people today, like let's say my grandparents' parents, are like, it's all talking about the way life used to be way better when not communism, but it was somewhat of a socialist doctrine. Like, you know, the Yugoslavian, yeah, everyone could travel, everyone could go around and see the world. Everyone's earning enough so they can have a comfortable life. You know? Yeah, they were comfortable. And they tried to integrate capitalism into the communist lifestyle. We're a transition state for like 20 years and they still consider us to a certain extent like we're still transitioning from that communist socialist lifestyle mm -hmm. to capitalism. And, but I mean, as you can see, it's, it's well, right now it's in full swing. I mean, you, you saw the city, you walked around the city, right? You, you saw the Yugoslavian concrete yeah, buildings that. and now they're just covering those up as well. Like they're putting columns right in front of them like, like basically they're plaster columns not even marble you know like not even real marble how much did they saw cost uh, i mean i have no idea like the i think it was somewhere in the billions of euros like billions yeah like two or three billion euros the government is saying that it costs a, a certain amount of money to build this statue to build this building you know to build the archaeological museum like right next to you or let's say the secret police building right there Mm -hmm. And it's like only regular, normally it's like it would cost, actually cost 40% or like 50% of that, that amount and the rest just goes into someone's pockets or... It's called Skopje 2014, the entire project. There's like an internet page, like Skopje Uncovered or something, it says the exact number of statues, the exact number of buildings they've built in the last four or five years since the project started. Before that you could, there was a huge square right here, mm -hmm. you could just look at the see the opera house and you could see the fort that was that's I mean right now you can see it but yeah the fort that was right behind the these buildings it's still there but nobody no tourists want to see that nobody wants to see this it's literally covering it up because it was it was a really beautiful architectural building and now it's you just see plaster columns mm. standing right there the image they're getting is like everyone's making fun of us right now like if you look at forums or online or internet or tourists even visiting everyone like the first question they ask is why do you have so many statues like, and they're just using it to cover up like real history like the stone bridge where we walked earlier you can see it's like so bad because you're destroying what you had before like the beauty you had the originality you have of it and now you're just building some generic shit literally stealing ideas out of every capital of Europe I mean the fucking Greek muses why would we need the Greek muses slapped in the middle of the city like standing right there and they're gonna build a fucking london eye it's shoddy work i mean they say it's italian bronze or italian sculptures and whatever but like literally there's no no beauty in them no there's soul in their eyes they put a map and they just grab several stones and they threw it on the map and this is where this is gonna be this is where this is gonna be horrible i mean it's so blatant you can see that it's fake I remember the you saw the big statue of the guy on a horse. The architect got a, a million point two, uh, one point two million uh, euros for that for designing it. Just designing it. I mean, I get it. It's like a piece of art and everything, but I mean, you could feed what five hundred families with that money. I mean, the whole thing is just a fucking farce. There's nothing left to say about it.